Salutations, human. Today we take a closer look at the EMP EDC Nimble, a new product designed by John Rusk. The Nimble, manufactured by QSP, is John's first knife design and was the result of wanting to create a knife that he would like to own. John and his partner set out to design a smooth knife that had comfortable orgles with multiple deployment options that would reliably function. Did they succeed? Let's find out. First we dive into some specifications, then move into ergonomics and action, and end the video with some final thoughts. Let's get started. The blade material is Bowler M390 stainless steel with a length of 3.1 inches and a height of 1.2 inches. Actual cutting edge minus the twirl is a little over 2.5 inches. Blade stock is a beefy 3.5 millimeters with a satin finish, flat grind and rhizome ceramic bearings and hardened steel washers. The titanium handles, which measures 4 inches in length, are internally milled. A steel insert for the lock bar on the frame is also installed. Two varieties of the nimble are currently available. A blackened titanium frag pattern or a plain stonewashed titanium version. An optional Mokotai kit is also available. The kit includes a Mokotai pocket clip, a Mokotai backspacer, an anodized D-shaped bushings and pivot screws, and anodized hardware. Now let's talk about the Nimble's ergonomics. With my skinny medium-sized hands, I can almost get a full purchase in the pistol or saber grip if I squeeze in tight. The handle feels nice in both hands and sits comfortably in the palm. In the left hand, I actually use the clip as a platform for my thumb when using the middle finger to flick open the knife to avoid placing pressure on the frame lock. The length of the pocket clip is just long enough for me to do so without being too aesthetically overbearing to the eye. Access to the frame lock is straightforward and easy. The landing zone for your thumb is chamfered well and doesn't have jimping, which I prefer. Let's see how it carries in the pocket. You can just see a bit of the knife peeking out and the tension on the clip is such that it goes in smoothly but does grab a little when coming out. If you do have larger palms and fingers, there is a generous choil that could provide for more real estate for your hands. Jimping extends from the base of the spine out towards the midsection, which is a great thought as it allows for a variation of thumb or finger placements. In general, the nimble handles well and should be more than sufficient for your normal everyday package, cardboard, paracord, and fruit cutting adventures. With its multiple deployment options, the nimble definitely lives up to its name registering high on the fidget factor scale. You can take your pick from the hole, the front flipper, or back flipper. Dialing in the detent for a knife that has all three of these options can be tricky, but I found that the detent was quite appropriate without being too soft. Both the back and hole deployments were quite snappy, and I was really surprised at how easy it was to deploy the knife by using the back flipper. By simply applying downward pressure, the blade fires out easily. But front flipping does require a little bit of forethought because if you place your palm too high up in the handle, your palm could get slightly pinched by the back flipper when it spins around. This is a typical issue I've experienced with knives with both front and back flippers. But if you make a slight lower adjustment to your palm placement, the back flipper tab easily clears the deployment path. Closing the blade is smooth, not quite drop shotty, and requires a little shake or some good old wrist action. She also tucks in nice and proper. So how does the nimble cut? Out of the box, the factory edge is quite slicey. And now for some final thoughts. The nimble is a great EDC knife, but if there were a few things I could change without altering the design, they would include having all T8 torque screws, offering a stonewashed blade finish option, and crowning the spine of the blade. As I found the swedge's edge, needed to be chamfered down just a bit more. But circling back to the initial question at the start of the video where I asked, has EMP EDC succeeded in creating a smooth knife that has near custom feel with multiple deployment options and comfortable orgos? The answer is a resounding yes. It's a good looking solid knife that functions reliably and should provide for hours of slicing and fidgeting enjoyment. As of July 17, 2021, the Nimble is still available on the EMP EDC website. Thank you for stopping by, and if you would like to see similar content in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. As always, be kind to one another, and catch you in the next episode.